solve the main problem, the self-determination of Palestinians in occupied territories. Nebraska Senator Robert Carey, who is campaigning for the Democratic nomination for president, won the primary election in the state of South Dakota. He gained about 40 percent of the votes. The only candidate for the Republican Party was President George Bush. Kuwait is celebrating the first anniversary of the libera liberation of the country from Iraqi occupation. There was an air show with the participation of the multinational air forces which took part in their liberation. Eighteen policemen were wounded in Athens by an, the explosion of a large bomb set off by remote control. The bomb exploded early this morning as a bus was carrying the policemen to work at a jail. This terrorist activity, according to some reports, was taken by the group 17th of November. Thousands of tons of nuclear waste have been dumped off the archipelago Novaya Zemlya in the past two decades. According to the British TV company ITN, these containers are in dangerous condition. According to some Western experts, we will have to destroy up to 15,000 nuclear warheads soon in the framework of the planned reduction of nuclear arsenals. The program is already underway, but many complex problems remain. Our comment commentator Mikhail Asokin reports. The removal of nuclear weapons from military units to storage facilities is supposed to be one of the most dangerous stages of the uh, reduction process, but this is not true because they are taking the strictest security measures here. The crane works with only one nuclear weapon at a time and does not begin the next operation until the truck carrying the first reaches its destination. The crane operator must press a secret code to make the crane work, and if uh, a nuclear weapon is stolen, the officials can track its progress with a special transmitter in each container. This security uh, process is worked out very well. The complex problems come at the final stage of dismantling nuclear weapons. At this stage, we will need the help of American experience in building special storage facilities and American resources. They have already allocated $400 million to help us create long-term storage facilities for radioactive materials and dismantled warheads. U.S. Secretary of State James Baker agreed in Moscow to help us construct storage facilities for plutonium. There are other ideas in the United States on how to spend the funds they've promised us for help. For example, American officials do not uh, reject the possibility that they will simply buy some nuclear weapons from us. In this way, they hope to accelerate the process of dismantling our nu nuclear arsenal, which has be been of great concern to the West since the collapse of the Soviet Union. While our television report, uh, shows the same uh, file footage of nuclear weapons, German tele television is showing new TV pictures from super-secret nuclear cities, military bases, and test facilities. Are German journalists more persistent, or is it a financial reason for their success? Despite the instability uh, of our Situ our political situation, our officials declare that our nuclear weapons could not fall into the wrong hands. However, not all the workers of our nuclear industry are patriots and understand their responsibility. There are bad apples there. On German television, there are reports that there is trade happening in enriched uranium, which is used to build nuclear bombs. We uh, could not pay the French television reporters for this footage because our state TV hard currency reserves are still frozen in the foreign economic banks. But we have reports that a broker and a television camera uh, entered, a, tried to enter a deal to buy uranium uh, with a hidden camera. They uh, said they represented, represented a, an Austrian company. They entered negotiations which were lively and full of jokes. 
They argued about the price from 300,000 to 600,000, finally agreeing on a price of $500,000. The cargo was to be shipped from Kaliningrad. They, were, they promised no problems with customs because our customs officials also want to live well. There is more reports of unpatriotic activity by our citizens. The creation of a new scientific center for our former nuclear scientists is a good idea, but it would be naive and irrational to hope for it to work alone. We need immediate measures. German television reports that access to nuclear bombs has never been so easy. Pope John Paul II continues his African trip. He met in the Guinean capital with representatives of the Islamic world, calling on them to solve their problems with Christians by dialogue. The U.S. Recorded Music Association gave its uh, awards for the year. All of the Grammys for Best Singer, Best Song, and Best Album of the Year were given to Natalie Cole for her song Unforgettable. Our foreign colleagues are celebrating a holiday. The Voice of America is 50 years old. Our former ideological enemies who were jammed for many years are celebrating their anniversary in Moscow. We wish them good luck and hope for cooperation. Music and ballet news now, but unfortunately for, from abroad, the economic situation is such that many of our theater companies are forced to put on productions outside the country. The Moscow Ballet is in Cairo. The Cairo op uh, Opera gave the world Aida, Giuseppe Verde, uh, wrote it especially for the Cairo Opera in 1869. Egyptians are proud of this event in the history of opera and also of the recent premiere of Maurice Béjar's Pyramid Opera. Close creative contacts have always connected the Cairo Opera with the Moscow City Ballet under the direction of its great ballet ma um, master Smirnov Golovanov. For three years, this independent, talented, and young troupe has toured the world. Today, working with the Cairo Theater, uh, it, uh, it has shown over the years uh, Swan Lake, Don Quixote, and two new works, uh, this tour, Sleeping Beauty of uh, Tchaikovsky and War and Peace, with music by Vyacheslav of Chinnikov. The most attention of the viewers was given to War and Peace, which is the first joint production of the Cairo Opera and the Moscow Ballet, Ballet Troupe. The leading e Egyptian newspaper, Al Ahran, called this premiere the biggest event in the cultural life of Egypt and put it on the same level with the premieres of Aida and Pyramid. Good evening. Today the outstanding soccer player and coach Nikolai Staristin is 90 years old. Our film crew visited him at the Spartak uh, Sports Club. I'd like to congratulate you and wish you much more successful work. Mr. Starostin, you are 90 years old today. This long human life is enough in itself, but you have done so much for sports, for your own team. What do you feel today here together with your friends? Well, what can I say about this? You know, it's very difficult to predict your fate, hard to predict. But somewhere there is some desire, uh, as long as my feet will carry me and my head still works, I want to continue the work to which I've devoted my life to take it to the end in the remainder of my life. Thank you. Good luck. Flowers, flowers, and many congratulations from friends and fans.
At a press conference announcing the results of the Olympic Games by the company Impex 55, along with the sports studio, awarded $5,000 to the Olympic hockey players Bolden, Bikov, and Butsayev. We had one victory for our whole team. Everyone made their contribution. It was an equal battle. Everyone did the best they could. So these prizes should be shared with all the players. At the international chess tournament in Linares, Kasparov beat Karpov, and after two rounds, the leaders are Boris Gelfin, Garry Kasparov, and Arthur Yusupov with two points, Alexander Bilatsky has one and a half points, and Anatoly Karpov has one point. At the CIS Ball Hockey Championships, the leader Krasnoyarsk beat, uh, Krasnogorsk beat Krasnoyarsk 6-3, and Almata Dynamo beat Irkutsk Lokomotiv 8-3. That's the news for now. I'll see you next time.